What is up everyone, my name is Matt and welcome to a new video on my channel. Now in today's video I'm going to be covering some of the most dangerous scam methods out there on CSGO. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because you guys have been sending me a lot of different scam methods that I need to cover in my videos, so a lot of people will get aware of them. And also because some of these scam methods are actually so good that I might fall for it myself, and that's why I really have to cover it in a video. Now, I'm very aware of the fact that I might create some scammers because of these videos, because hey, I'm explaining how basically how you can scam people, but at the same time, and that's what I'm doing it for, I'm making a lot of people aware of the different scams that are out there. Let's say I make 10,000 people aware of a certain scam and I create like two or three scams. Now, that is actually something that I am okay with because I just can't get around the fact that I'm, I'm explaining the scam methods out here. Obviously, people are going to try and use them. Now, before I get into the different scam methods, I want to give a shout out to my homie Trip because he made this background music that you're hearing right now. Let, let's have a listen. So yeah, if you like that kind of music, then make sure to go over to the link in the description over to his YouTube channel or his SoundCloud. It's whatever you prefer. Uh, leave some feedback for him and it would be really appreciated. And let's get right into the scam methods. So the first method has to do with different patterns on CSGO knives or items. So basically what happened was my friend Festa, his link will be in the description of course because he helped me get this footage because he made a video on it himself. But what happened was he had a Karambit Marble Fade and he wanted to upgrade it for a Karambit Marble Fade Fire and Ice. So he went over to CSGO Lounge at the time, it was still a good trading platform and he tried to trade his knife for a different pattern knife. Of course he had to overpay for that. When he went over to the inventory of the dude he was trading with, the item was there. But whenever he clicked on the trade link on the profile from the dude who had the Karambit Fire and Ice, he was sent to a a different profile with a different knife. Now this can be very scary because you can actually fall for it because you think he has the same knife. Now where the tricky part comes in is that whenever he tried to look at the profile of the dude who has the Karambit Fire and Ice and the profile that didn't have the Fire and Ice but the normal Karambit which wasn't very special was that the profiles were one on one identical except for one thing that the scammer forgot about. And that one thing was the friends list because of course they had added each other to talk about the trade and whenever you add someone, you get an extra friend in your friends list. So that number was uneven from both profiles and that way he could identify that there were two accounts and the item was not the same as the item that he wanted to trade with on the other account. I know it might sound a little bit complicated, it's complicated for me as well, but I hope you understand. So let's get into the next scam method and this is actually something that I've encountered myself. Now if you know a little bit about the gambling scene in CSGO then you know about CSGO Egg. It used to be a very big gambling website and the site was closed down because of legal issues. Now recently when I was on my Twitter I saw a post from CSGO Egg and they relaunched for some reason. I wasn't too sure about it because none of my friends talked about it and I was like oh whatever let's look at their profile. And whenever I looked at their Twitter profile I saw a post where they were looking for partners for sponsorships and of course I'm a gambling slash alternative CSGO YouTuber so I applied for the partnership and I got in touch with one of the owners of the new CSGO Egg on Steam. Now we had a normal professional talk I would say. And we came to the conclusion that I'd rather wait till the site is launched because the site wasn't launched at the time. And then when I looked over to my Twitter, Osni, Dan and Helix had put me in a direct message conversation with them all. And they spoke about them being contacted by CSGO Egg and how the sponsorship seemed fishy. Now the whole thing where I thought it was getting fishy already is because they immediately accepted a high amount of money for my sponsorship with them. And don't forget, if something seems too good to be true, it most likely is. So the whole deal with the sponsorship was, for example, whenever you got a deal for let's say a thousand dollars you had to go over to some admin panel on the website on CSGO Egg which was actually super nicely done everything looked super professional and legit but the thing was you had to deposit 10% of what you were going to make out of the sponsorship now of course no one's going to do that whenever you're a youtuber you're talking with a website and they obviously trust you because you are the youtuber and you have a lot of trust and you have a big name a big reputation and stuff you don't have to do shit like depositing 10 percent in order to withdraw your full 100 percent of your payment that's obviously fucking bs because no one has to deposit in order to withdraw for a sponsorship but i would actually see smaller youtubers fall for this kind of scam trick thing and that's why I had to put it in this video. So let's get into the last scam method that I want to cover in this video. Now, this is actually something that I've encountered myself again, because it has to do with PayPal. Now, as some of you guys might know, I stream on YouTube quite a bit. Like whenever I feel like streaming, I stream. So if you want, you can turn on my notifications for my channel and you will always be in my YouTube live streams. I've always had donations off from my live stream, but a lot of people were asking me to turn them on because they feel like they want to give me something to make my setup better and that kind of stuff. Now, obviously I don't need that much money, 
but hey, it's really appreciated if you want to send me any. So I turned the donations on. These donations all go through PayPal. And as some of you guys might know, you can charge back through PayPal. And that's exactly what happened to me. Someone donated for around $250 on my stream. And I was extremely happy about it. And of course, I really appreciated someone doing that. But knowing PayPal, you can charge back donations. And of course, that's exactly what happened to me. Now, I hear you thinking, Matt, what does this have to do with CSGO skin scamming? Now, the thing is that some scammers actually do send you money on PayPal and refund it later on, after you send them the skins of course, because you do have the money in your account on PayPal, and then afterwards they refund it and you have nothing. But you sent the skins to the scammer, so you got scammed anyway. Now guys, that was it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel. Turn on my notifications if you want to be the first one to watch my videos. Check out my Twitter and my website for some free gambling codes to gamble with of course maybe make some money help me out help yourself out fund my giveaways i'm currently doing a knife giveaway on my twitter because of 35,000 subscribers on youtube honestly i have no words anymore for the past shit that's happened to me my channel is going so fucking insane and i can't do anything else besides doing giveaways and uploading even more and that's exactly what i'm going to be doing and that was it for today's video and i'm out Just up.